Yes. How you doing, sir? You're the homeowner here? Mm, yes, I am. Gotcha. My name's Corey Losser here, just with GE and Platinum, sir. Okay. Uh, General Electric. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, here's your permit. You know, your city licenses us to be here. All right, cool. Um, basically, what's been going on, sir? Um, I'm not sure if you've heard about the issue that's been going on where the kids have been going to the phone boxes on the exterior of the homes. Um, not like right here directly in your neighborhood. Um, but basically in some of the lesser areas where kids have been snipping the wires prior to the break-ins. Mm -hmm. Okay, like GE, we manufacture all the UL listed parts for like all the home safety systems here in your area. Okay. All right, so what we're doing right now, my company's actually uh, doing some advertisement work here in your area. Um, where we're asking some of the homeowners just to leave a shield like right out front, basically mm -hmm. where it's just like visible from the street. Okay. Um, and we're actually selecting a few homes that we're actually paying to have one of our new systems. Mm-hmm. Um, basically the way this is working, um, the issue with the line cuts, all of our old systems actually utilize the home phone line in order to get the signal out, like if there were ever to be an emergency. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we've done, obviously with the line cut issue, we <coughs> designed a cell unit, um, to where all of our systems are going to actually dial out 100% cellular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So like, like picture like a new smartphone going into the keypad. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so basically what we're doing, um, you guys, how long have you guys lived here? Uh, say about five years now. Five years. Okay. So yeah. you, you know, like Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, just right down the mm, street. I know. I don't know the people down there too much. Just that, a few houses. Like four are, doors down. Yeah. I don't know them. It's I just know my neighbor here, the Jacksons and the Stevens. Gotcha. Okay. I just brought them up because they're actually the, the closest model home to you guys. Okay. Um, basically you guys have been here five years. Um, so the way that it works, uh, homeowners do have to be in the area at least for a few years, you know, mm -hmm. just so they, they are pretty well settled in. Okay. Um, do you guys currently have any of our equipment within your home? Um, this is an old system here, but we don't use it. You it's don't just, use it. Okay. It's really old though. Okay. Is, is there a reason, like you guys actually, you realize like you have the expensive part of the system is like the equipment. Mm -hmm. like, you, you just don't use it. Does it, it, does it not work? We bought the house and it just was here, but we never used it. It's one of those things. Gotcha, okay. Um, so like the, the keypad that, okay. you, that you currently have, uh, like is, it, is that like one of our DSC or is it like our Demco keypad, do you know? Like is it one of these right here? Uh, I have no idea, but it's just some I mean, do, can weird you just take a one. quick peek at that? I mean, what what are you trying to do over here to begin with? Like, well, is basically it, uh, right now, like being that you guys do already have some of our equipment, just to kind of help you understand, like mm -hmm. all of our older stuff is 100% compatible with our new equipment okay um so like at the end of the day um the homes that we end up selecting um obviously we are more selective sir um we actually would just pay for these updates okay um in order to basically have some references when we come out here february 20th mm -hmm. and start doing the sales to basically be able to basically be able to name drop uh these few homeowners um obviously we haven't we haven't picked you it's just my job to explain it okay um, like the keypad, is is it the DSC? I just need to see if it if it would be compatible, like if it would even be an option. Uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah, it's right over here. So, transition yeah, to home. Perfect. If you guys look, uh, this is a half an inch of softwood that stops uh, the door from being broken into. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, um, you kind of have like metal versus wood. Obviously, when someone's trying to get in, uh, the metal's going to win. So. They put like one door contact right here, uh, and then they put another contact right here. So when the door is shut, that's when you guys can arm the system. And then, Corey, you said you guys had another door, it's the back one? Yeah, it's actually right back here. Okay. Do you need to see that? Um, and how long have you guys lived here, by the way? Uh, I've been here like 12 years. Okay. Um, and you guys have any children in the home? Or? No, no, it's actually just me and my fiance. Oh, cool. You guys are about to get married? Um, so we're going to put also another door contact right here. Um, so that's going to cover this door. Um, and then, um, would you say that you guys care more about like a fire, break-in, home invasion, medical emergency? Like, what's like a bigger thing for you guys? Mm, I'd say probably a break-in. A break-in? Okay. And then, do you guys use this door the most right here? Yeah, we really don't use the back door at all. Okay. So this is actually where um, you would probably put your keypad um and then do you guys have an iphone or, or blackberry or droid or anything like that yeah, both have Androids. okay um do you, do you mind grabbing your phone real quick um, i just want to show you guys something um i work for the company that actually makes all these programs if you just go into your marketplace real quick
always pretty good. I'm not a big road guy, but they work, you know, especially if you throw it at somebody. Um, and then you just want to go in the search. So you just go into search, and then you want to hit um, for alarm.com, okay. then I install it for them. Okay, it's pretty, you guys all know how to do it pretty much on the droid. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then once the program comes up, you want to make sure you go back into wherever you pull it up. Where, where's your, Corey, where's alarm.com in your phone? Okay, and then you pull it up, and then it will, like his comes up because he has the password. But it will come up. It will say login and password. You would say, um, you know, if, if once it's installed, um, obviously, you know, we'll give you a username and password, and then I continue. That's it. All right. So this is where your keypad would go. Okay. So when you guys come in, all you would do is hit a four-digit code, which would be five, four, three, seven, or whatever you want your code to be. Um, it talks. It says front door open, back door open, side door open. Um, if you hit one, two, six, six, the roof unfolds. Okay. So that will be your keypad. And then what we're going to do is obviously because this is the most open area and you have the most windows in this area right here, is we're going to put your motion sensor. Um, it will actually be right here, so it's going to cover this whole area. So if someone decides to come in through a window or, uh, you know, wherever else besides the okay, door. Okay, and that, that'll work with my dog? How much does your dog weigh? She's like 75 pounds. 75 pounds. Um, it probably won't. What we do is, do you guys lock your windows? Yeah, all of them. All okay, of them. These, these are really good windows. In order for someone to get in, they're going to have to break the glass. So what kind of dog is it that you guys have? She's a Rottweiler. Okay, so when glass breaks, you have the, the, pops, the, the pop, the flex, and the shatter of the glass. What we do is there's a piece of equipment called, um, and you don't care about a fire at all, or just like way more about a break-in? I mean, honestly, I guess a fire is definitely a concern. Okay. Um, and I'll go over that as we go along, but what we'll do is for this room, we can put one glass break sensor in this room, which will cover all these windows. That will go right up here, okay? okay. So that will cover all the windows, so in case someone uh, smashes a glass and, and breaks into the window other than a door, the system's going to go off, okay? okay? Okay. And then you guys, pr um, so that's going to cover this area, most likely if you guys had a break in, in this area. Too. Right, okay. Unless, um, is there times like when the dog isn't here? Uh, it, only if I'm gone. Like sometimes she goes with me. Okay. She she always stays here. She's always here. She's always here. But yeah. is there a lot of like is there trips that you go on sometimes and she's totally gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because um you got to think about it. You have these two bedrooms over here mm -hmm. that have windows just like in this area. Right. I can either give you an option. I can either give you a glass break sensor for both of those rooms to cover all those windows, or I can give you a motion sensor for this room. So when you guys leave, you can protect uh, the whole area. Um, right, actually, I do like the idea of a motion detector. Okay, so that's what we'll do. And then, um, do you know what type of fire detectors you guys have right now? Uh, I have no idea. I actually just replaced all the batteries, though. I think they're, they're good. The, I, don't, I don't know if I'd yep, Those ones just beep until the house burns down, pretty much. Sometimes right. the fire breaks out. The smoke detector starts beeping. The beep is so loud, it puts out the fire because that fire can't handle the loud beeping. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I actually invented them, so I'm just kidding. So what we're going to do is, because you guys do have a dog, my house burnt down when I was 14 on Christmas Eve. My dog died in the fire from smoke inhalation, all sorts of stuff. Is We're going to put like one of these photoelectric smoke and heats into the home. The difference is not just that the system is going to be monitored. Like if the system went off, Obviously, the proper authorities are going to be contacted. You right. know, it's not just going to beep like that one. Okay. What happens is uh, it uses optical detection to determine a fire, so it's a lot more accurate based off if there's a real fire in the home. Okay. okay. And there's also a heat sensor, so like you know, you guys share, uh, you know, uh, walls with other people here. If they ever had a fire, okay, um, it would typically break out into your condo if that makes sense. Right. Really quick especially once it comes in here. So there's a heat sensor built in. So if the temperature changed by 15 degrees within a minute, 
the system would go off too. So it'll pick it up before there's even smoke. Oh yeah, well that's the whole point of having it is okay. you know if you like if there's a main reason for you having a smoke and heat in the home, like if there was like a major major, what's your top priority of what to save in the house? Your dog or your things? You your honestly fiance? my 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 fiance and my dog would be the most important. Obviously my TV and stuff like well, that. Well the thing is like um nineteen I, guess I just don't think about it's it. It's smoke inhalation that's gonna kill somebody. So you wanna pick up a fire sooner than later. That's why we put one of these into the home. Okay. 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 And then um, what we're also gonna do and these are all wireless. They're not on one ten so they don't have to run any wires or anything throughout the house. It's all wireless. Okay. okay? So we don't have to destroy your home putting it in. And then um, what we'll do is um, you guys both have the Android Correct. phones, okay? So you guys will be able to arm and disarm it from your phone as well, okay? Do you have a place like where I can sit? At least so I can show you this stuff. I just have a few um, things to show you yeah, guys. Yeah, I'd say probably right over here. If okay. Anymore. All right. So I'll go over this stuff with you guys. Um, now, like obviously, you know, we want to do a, a, a few more homes at the same time. These are uh, all the houses that we already paid for. Um, let me just go over these things with you guys. So, and you're gonna have everything that I can just give my my fiance when she gets home. Yeah. So she does she take care of like the protection of the house and well, all no, that I mean, kind of stuff. At the end of the day, like you know, I am the guy here. So, so you take care fine, of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I just said, obviously I want to run it by her. You know. Well, um, would she use a system if you guys had it, or she would? I'm pretty sure she would. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll leave. Uh, like obviously, you know, if we do end up picking you guys, um, you know, we, we kind of want you guys to be, you know, pretty solid in, in the homes that we're doing. We spend our, our time with people that, you know, are definitely going to take advantage of having one of these systems in the house. Um, would there be like a main reason like why she wouldn't want to uh, use the system or no? No, not really. It's just like we, we usually, I like going over everything. Oh, no, for sure, yeah. Decide. What I'll do is though, I'll go over everything with you um, and then we'll see if we're going to pick the house or not. Okay. And then if we end up doing it, um, you know, we can just go forward from there. And then if she has any questions, she can also call me back in the meantime. Okay. Okay. Right. So the first thing that we want, obviously, is we want to be able to keep, you know, one of our new shields out in the front planner uh, for the next three years. Okay. Number two is we want to be able to use you as a reference here in the neighborhood. And number three would be the confidentiality part of it. And I'll go over that like a little bit more thoroughly as we go along. The first piece that we're going to pay for is going to be your keypad, obviously, which is a Simon XT. Um, it talks. It says front door open, back door open. Um, you so know, doors and windows. So like, I'll have like a window, like window contacts. Yeah, that's like, your glass break, remember? Gotcha. Okay, so mm -hmm. when I push this, that's for that. Yep. Well, the glass breaks on twenty four hours a day. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So if you whip like a wine bottle at the wall, it would go off. Okay. I mean, do you whip so wine I, bottles? Well, my fiance does that. Okay. Know. So you'd probably want the police to come if she was. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Okay. So, um, so no one wants a wine bottle uh, fiance. So I oh, got rid of that one a few years ago. That's why I'm divorced. But um, this is since you guys have the program where you guys are going to be able to control it from the iPhone, the BlackBerry, and the Droid. You're going to be able to get the weather updates on the main keypad too. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Uh huh. And then we're going to do your cell unit, obviously, which is going to go inside the keypad, uh, which is two ninety nine. So the system keeps a twenty four hour connection, uh, you know, uh, to the authorities. So it, even if someone broke in and they ripped the keypad off the wall or whatever else, and they tried to screw with the system, or they brought a cell jammer into the house, the system's going to go off automatically. Okay. Now we live in New England, so obviously you know battery backups are important. In case the uh, power went out, the system would stay on for three days without power, okay. which you know that that's pretty good. But I thought sometimes. I thought everything is wireless. Huh? Everything's wireless, right? Yeah. The only thing, obviously, the keypad needs power. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything else is wireless. Okay. You know, just so the only thing it needs is just a connection, uh, which it has a cell unit, and then also power. That, that's it. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're gonna do both your doors, you know, which are ninety nine a piece. Um, and then we're gonna do your motion sensor, okay? So for when you guys take the dog out, and then we're gonna do your one glass break sensor. And then uh, we're gonna do your smoke and heat, uh, which is one ninety eight. So we're gonna be putting in about three six. 
are 9, 11, 13, $1,500 worth of equipment into the home. And then typically an install by an in-house technician is $199. Obviously we pay that as long as you're flexible with our install schedule. Um, there's a few questions I have to go over to make sure that you guys are a good fit for us. Do you, do you see how it kind of says platinum on my shirt? Okay. Mm -hmm. So platinum actually does all the marketing uh, for GE for all the new systems that are going to be sold out here, obviously. But platinum is also the company that uh, makes that app that I was showing you, you know, where you guys can control it uh, from the iPhone, the Blackberry, the Droid. Remember, I was showing you this. Yeah. This program right here. Alright, is it so that's does, it, does this take too long? Like I got, I got a couple things I have to do. Yeah. Um how or when do you have to leave by? I don't know. I mean how long do you think it's gonna be? Um probably like another fifteen minutes somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah. Um so you guys are gonna be able to arm and disarm the system, you know, from your iPhone, the Blackberry. You can monitor the daily traffic throughout the house. So um these are what we call our sponsorship. Uh, sponsorship uh, question here. So I kind of need you to answer these as if uh, your fiance was here um, Just so I can because we're supposed to go over it with both but I'm sure you guys know you guys know each yeah, other no, well enough, so, um, so I'll go over these with you. So here at Platinum Protection, you know being confident in the choices of homes We select for marketing, you know our newest line of GE cellular police fire and medical protection systems as a process uh, with quality control in mind you know, we find that asking multiple outline questions will determine uh, our interest in considering your home. This process is key to finding the correct fit for our program within your neighborhood. Um, so please answer the following questions uh, truthfully and to the best of your ability. So it's you, your fiance, and your dog, and how long have you lived here? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? Okay. And, um, you know, if you guys can answer these as, you know, homeowners, as husband and wife almost, as a pet owner, um, you know, what do you feel like your major expectations would be regarding the protection that GE Platinum Cellular Technology would provide for the house? Like, what are your major expectations out of having a system? I mean, honestly, just that it works. Works, okay. Yeah. I mean, if everything you're telling me, so like if the smoke alarm goes off and the fire department would come, yeah. yeah, I guess, yeah. So the way that it works, because um, you never had a system, is the system will send a text message to the monitoring station. They'll call you back within about 15 seconds after the system goes off. They'll call you on your cell phone, and you don't have a home phone, right? No. On your cell phone <coughs> and your fiance's cell phone all at the same time to make sure that it, if everything's okay. They'll ask for a five to 10 letter safe word to know that it's if, you, if it's you. If you're at Walmart, then obviously there's a break-in going on. Right. Um, you know, and then if you don't answer, then we're going to go ahead and still uh, dispatch, you know, the Woburn medics, police, or fire department out to the home. Um, the police are really quick in this area, so it's actually worth having a system. Um, I've actually talked to them, like, quite a bit and stuff. So, um, now, which units did you feel would most be beneficial uh, for your home? So, did you write the door contacts, the smoke and heat sensor, the glass break sensor, the app where you can control from your phone, I the like, motion, I like that app with um, the keypad, the way that the system dials out on a cellular basis? What did you feel like was a big thing for you guys? I think the application is pretty cool. Yeah, um, okay. But, uh, you know, just definitely the, the cellular, mm -hmm. you know, just the fact that it, it does actually call someone if something's happening. Yeah. I mean, it's all great. Okay. Yeah. And the smoke detector. Um, mm -hmm. Like how many? Like how many of those do I need? Like we just put that? one into the home. Obviously, it'll be right in the main area. Okay, and that that works for. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys have the second floor, obviously, it'd be a different story. Okay. So. Okay. Um, and then also, if the power goes out, it will send you a text message to let you know that the power is out at the house, that the power is restored. If your fiance enters her code, it will send it her. <laughs> Uh, it will send you a text message to let you know that she's home safe gotcha, too. Okay. So you guys can stalk each other pretty much. Oh, sweet. You know? okay. Yeah. Um, now, do you feel like you guys would use the system more for when you're home, away, or both? Probably mostly when I'm away. Okay. Um, probably at night though. Okay. Do you feel but like your fiance would arm the doors if she's just here by herself? 
Yeah, the system is not for you, it's more for like her and the dog and when you guys are away, you know? So, um, and you know, during which scenarios would the unit most be armed? Sleep, lounging, vacation, travel, work hours? When I'm at work, definitely. Work, okay. Um, I think I would like it, you know, when, when she's here, you know, if, if she would just arm it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably mostly when I'm away though. Okay. And then, um, how do you feel like the system would provide you with the peace of mind? And have you ever considered using any type of system in the home before? Honestly, I really haven't. Um, it's okay. because, you know, there really isn't any crime out here. Yeah. Um, I guess it is still a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I'm sure if, if I had the system in the future, I would be using it. Okay. It's just a good thing to have in the house, you know, regardless if you live in the safest neighborhood or you live in the middle of the ghetto. You know, you got to also take into account that this is a really safe area, um, but the hood is always 15 minutes away. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter. Like, obviously, no one's breaking into this area from this area. So uh, when the hood is 15 minutes away, the hood is 15 minutes away, or it just takes that one time. Uh, you only want the system to work that one time that you need it to, mm -hmm. other right. than that to serve its purpose. So, um, And then, in the past five years, has there been a product or a service that has led you to be vocal like about your satisfaction? Like, if you really like a product, are you the type of person to tell others about it? Yeah, I mean, if I really like something. Okay. I mean, so far, if everything I'm saying is how it is, do you feel like you would be vocal about this? Yeah, yeah, okay. to, to like my friends, you mean? Or whoever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, do you feel like if someone asked you, um, or if you were, you know, came up, do you feel like you would be able to explain to somebody the difference between the cellular-based system and the system that works over the landline? Yeah, it's just like a home phone or a cell phone. Okay. Well, like the phone line can't be cut on the outside right, of the exa house. Right, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I understand that. All right, um, you answered these questions very well. Um, I feel like you would definitely use the system. Obviously, Robert Navas, he recommended us to come over and speak with you. Um, um, do you know Robert pretty well? Or? Yeah, I mean, we've been neighbors for a while. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over this with you. Now, you know, like, you've heard of monitoring before? Like monitoring, like ADT? ADT, Frank. yeah, I've heard okay. of ADT. Yeah. Like the company that we use to keep all of our advertising accounts connected is we use Montronics. Uh, they're based out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, they have the fastest response time in the United States. When the system goes off, like I said, um, you'll have a 30 second delay on the keypad, so you have 30 seconds to come in. You can set it to instant if you want to. Obviously, uh, it will be one of our lead technicians who will be doing the install, so he'll walk you guys through everything, obviously. Um, but uh, you've heard of UL before, like Underwriter Laboratory. They approve like all electronics in the house, and CSAA approves. Um, it's like the regulating uh, industry for all the monitoring companies. Okay. You guys are the best of the best. Okay. Now, typically, obviously, because it requires an AT&T or T-Mobile cell unit, the system's going to be constantly sending and receiving information to the monitoring station 24 okay, hours a day. At Verizon. This has its own cell phone. It's AT&T oh, gotcha. or T-Mobile. Okay. Now, typically, 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 cell monitoring out here. In, August, in uh, April is going to be between $73 and $86 a month uh, because it requires an AT&T or T-Mobile uh, cell unit. Like I pay $120 a month for my cell phone. I don't even get, I have unlimited data, um, but this cell unit uses probably about three times the amount of data because it's always connected. <coughs> yeah. okay. So, um, and then there's a fee of $199 to activate it uh, with AT&T or T-Mobile. That's just to get on the network. Obviously, you've activated a cell phone before? Yes. Okay, we activate it with the Wilburn Police Fire and Medics, okay? What we did uh, is we negotiated a rate with Montronics down to 49, so we could make it affordable uh, and economical for anyone to keep it connected, okay? Because obviously, we don't want you to think it's a cheap thing. Um, we just want to be able to do this for a wide variety of people. So I don't want you guys to think it's like a cheap thing that we're doing. 
Um, the first thing that obviously we want to be able to do is to be able to keep our shield out in the front yard for the next three years. Uh, the sign is going to be solar lit, so it acts as a 24-hour advertising tool for us. You know, the same thing as a 24-hour burglar to turn for you. The only problem we've been having is our signs are a little bit more attractive, so people have been stealing the signs and they pay, and then uh, they put them in front of their yard, so people think that they have a system. So you would be, uh, you, you have to keep that out there for the next three years, okay? Um, if someone takes it or whatever, just call me. I'll get it replaced for you. You'll be calling me for everything, anything that you need. Obviously, you know, we're going to pay for your keypad, which is $299, your cell unit, which is $299, your battery backup, your two doors, your motion, your glass break, and your smoke and heat. So we'll pay for your system, uh, which is $1,500. And then, remember I was going over the install? Yes. Yeah, as long as you're flexible with our install schedule, everyone that I showed you on that list is not on a waiting list. They're already installed. Okay. They're all done. Okay. okay. They have this, what I'm talking about. Okay. As long as you're flexible with our install schedule, because we need to do them in bulk, we'll pay the 199 Okay. As long, well, we don't pay it. It's like, it's our installers. So we're just, you're not going to pay it. So we do want you as a reference here in this neighborhood. Okay where you know, you're not gonna be on a list or anything, but you'll pretty much just be like a dot on a map, which would symbolize you know, where the dot is that you guys had one of our new systems. So if someone drove by, you know, they would see the shield out in the front, which would verify that you guys really did have it. Okay? Okay. Okay. So we don't have to give your name to everybody. Obviously, you know, you're never gonna pay uh, industry standard monitoring. Okay? Then as far as 199 goes to activate it, everyone pays 199. That's, there's nothing I can do about it. What we do though is that we have three questions. If you guys answer yes to one of them, we'll pay half of it, okay? Um, which you're gonna answer yes to that. So, uh, is anyone in the house, former military, works for the school system, or is on a fixed income? Okay, so you guys said yes to that. Um, we're gonna pay 100 of it, but you guys have the option to do your 99 over three months. So it's not gonna break anyone's arm in order to do that. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Wait, can three, we do 99 over three, Max? Yeah, yeah. VMS, there's a lot of non-clarity between the text and all this other stuff, so they'll call you saying stuff that they don't know what they're talking about. Right, that's kind yeah. of what I was getting at. It's, not, it's time to protect. No, I'm just kidding, so it's an alarm joke. So okay. There's another joke we have at our company, like uh, the band that we're going to see tonight, guess what their name is? Three Doors in the Motion. <laughs> it's a joke, okay. So, uh, as far as the confidentiality goes, Corey, um, if someone asked you how much you paid for the system, you wouldn't say that that it was free or three thousand dollars, which are both wise. You know, we would ask you to hang on to this brochure. These show all the prices for the equipment for 2012. There's about ten times as amount of equipment is available through our company. Um, this is just the main lineup that people are going to be mostly interested in. You show them this brochure. If they want to get info more information. Um, just have them call the 88 number because they're going to be marketing the same system on CNBC today and Yahoo News. This is just to get incoming calls into the company. Okay? Um, and then obviously the shield, which would be out in front of the home, which would verify that you guys did have it. Does that make sense and, and sound fair, how everything would work in the home? Does that make sense and sound yeah. fair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just need to make sure that we're able to do it. And then I forgot to tell you one thing. You're going to get about a 15% discount off your homeowner's insurance for having the system in the house. Okay. Now, I'm saying that you're all good to go. I, um, like I personally think that you guys are a good fit. I just need to make sure that corporate feels the same way. Um, I just need to get some information from you, and then I'll be able to tell you if we're able to do it or not. So I just need you to fill that out, and I'll go over the rest of it. Okay. Wait, this is for what? This is for me to call into the company to make sure that you qualify for everything that I went over with you. Okay. So, okay. And obviously, you know, I'll just go over it with you right now. Obviously, I'll leave you with all the information. Uh, if your fiance has any questions, she can call me back. But, you know, uh, 11 bucks a week, you know, to protect the house and the family, she's not going to be upset. I mean, realistically. Right. So, so is this like that? It's That's, that's before that's your it. homeowner's insurance discount. Yeah. Okay, and there's no other, it's not going to go up, there's no Oh, other. no, for you, you pay this one, that one, and all of these. It's a joke. Yeah. No, that's just, it's forty nine ninety nine dollars uh, uh, per month flat. That's it, with all your taxes and your okay. fees and everything. Okay, and yeah. that, like, does it go up after, like, a year? No, uh, your rate is actually going to be good for 60 months, which is five years. 
I know like uh, you are used to like Comcast and the cable companies and stuff like that. Um, regardless if you're an advertising account with us or, or, or a regular customer with another company, monitoring increases aren't really uh, common in the alarm industry. Okay. It's just not a problem that we have. Okay. That's just something that you see in other industries, not I this guess. one. Yeah. Okay. You're interrupting. Can I have to be quiet, my son? This is my adopted son. The audio is going to be good on this, too? Yeah. yeah, there's a speaker. Right, there's a micro here. Hey Vay, this is Nathan McCarthy. I'm just doing a training right now. Can you pretend like we're running a credit and then give me a, an account number at the end? You bet. All right. Okay, your company ID, please. MCC A009. It's 1708 Inwood Drive, I N W O O D Drive. And the zip code? 01801. Phone number, please? 518 231 0917. Thank you. And the name of the homeowner? Corey, Corey Law, C O R E Y Law, L A W. And social date of birth, please? Date of birth is 8 3 2012. Thank you. All right, thanks, all right. All right, so you guys are all good to go. You guys come back as excellent, which means that you guys own the home. You guys haven't killed anybody in the last three and a half years, and you do have both, you have excellent credits. So you have over 625 credits, Corey. Oh, thank you. Okay. okay. It's just a soft check. So I'm going to go over this stuff with you guys. Um, this is kind of like who do we call uh, like when the system goes off. Um, so I'll go over this stuff with you guys right here. Oh, another question that comes up. Um, so, like, um, like, is this, like, a contract? Like, how long do I have to do this for? Like, yeah, there's, um, you know, we want you to keep it for at least three years in the home. You know, the only reason why people will get rid of the system is because they move. Um, if you guys ended up moving, we would actually pay for a whole new system to go wherever you guys go. Uh, unless you move to North South Dakota, Wyoming, Maine, or Vermont. Okay. Okay. So it Once wouldn't cost us anything if we were to. I don't think it will, but if we move, you guys would just cover it. If, if you guys were going to move, yeah, yeah, we would pay for a whole new system to go um, wherever you guys go. As okay. well as the installation? Yep, we'll pay for the install fee too as well. So everything that you just gave me in this deal here for this home, this will all would travel to my next home, wouldn't it? Yeah, and we would actually... Free parts, free installation, Yep. monitoring fee would not change at all. Nope, and we would actually... Um, the cool thing about it is... Uh, the uh, the system that's in the house currently uh, would stay here for whoever the new homeowner is. Okay. So Paul, you want to probably come closer and while we fill out the paperwork. So the first thing I'm going to put right here uh, is the cost for your equipment, Corey, is going to be zero, obviously. Okay. Um, this is kind of like who do we call when the system goes off and then your receipt. Okay. So we've got a new system, digital, Simon, primary, platinum interactive. So we've got one keypad. Your cost is zero. Battery backup, 99, 99, zero. We're going to do two doors, which is 99 a piece. So it's 197, cost is zero. 
we're going to do your cell unit, which goes inside the keypad, which is $299, $299, your cost is zero. We're going to do your smoke and heat, which is $198, $198, cost is zero. Alarm.com, which is that app where you guys can control it from, you know, the phone, which is zero. And then we're going to do your glass break sensor, which is 199 199 cost is zero. We're going to do your motion sensor. By the way, if your dog loses a couple pounds, the motion's pet friendly up to 50 pounds. Okay. So it would work with, like, another cat, you know, if you had a cat or something like that. Okay. Um, so we're going to actually be putting in... I always take my calculator and I... So I'll have a copy of this so I can just show my, my fiancé? Oh, yeah, right, we'll go over everything. Okay. Um, plus 197. Plus 29. She'll be happy about it, too, for sure. 98. Plus 30. Plus 199. Plus 198. Plus 199. So we're going to be putting in, including your install, we're going to be putting in $1,718 worth of equipment. Your cost is going to be zero, so I hope that's okay with you. So we're going to be putting in 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I just need you to fill this out. This is kind of like who do we call uh, when the system goes off. You want to put your um, your cell phone, your fiance's cell phone, and then your work phone number, and then your email address. And I need one, two, three people who don't live in the house, their first and last name, relationship to you, their phone number, and then check off if it's their home, work, or cell phone number. So I just need you to fill that out. So my cell phone Uh -oh. Alarm system. <laughs> really? Huh? The best Actually. answer. You sell alarm so many alarm sells alarm system. What is this? Dude, I tried to sell Nathan. myself one. It would cost me three grand. I'll go with that in a second with you guys. Okay. Um, you gotta do the date and stuff. Okay. I know. I'll fill that out. So you just want to put three people who don't live in the house, their first and last name, uh, relationship to you, their phone number, and then check off if it's their right. homework okay. or cell phone number. Um. Should I do, like, a neighbor, or...? Um, yeah, it would be a good idea. You want to do, like, maybe who someone has keys to the house, a uh, neighbor, a relative, a good friend. Okay. They don't have to live in the area, either. They're, it's not That's like they're going to be the ones who are coming to save That's you. Probably my dad, Like any of this stuff? Hold on a second. What was that? I have to go through this one. Nope. If all this information is correct, I just need you to autograph. Um, actually, I just need you to autograph, print, and then date right there. Hey, do you like saying autograph because the German roots say it angry? Autograph.
incredible. <laughs> okay, so I'll go over this one with you. Um, obviously, I'm going to go over your monitoring with you. Um, your monitoring is $49.99. That's with all your taxes and your fees and everything. Your rate's going to be good for five years. Okay. Um, after five years, your rate has the right to increase by 5%. What's 5% of $49.99? A couple bucks. It's $2.50. Okay. If you guys are, um, if you guys are good paying customers, obviously, remember I said Monotronics is doing the monitoring. Right. They'll actually probably keep it at the same rate or even lower to after that. Okay. okay. They're not going to kill anyone over two bucks. Okay. So, um, and then also if you have a fire or a break-in and you have to file a claim, uh, we'll pay up to $1,000 of your homeowner's insurance deductible. Okay. So. Um, so I'm going to go over this. Now your first uh, initial investment is going to be in five business days after the install, which your first initial investment would be on the 23rd of January. Uh, and then your regular one will start in February. Do you want to do it on the 5th, 15th, or 25th? What would your preference be? Um, probably just the end of the month, probably the 25th. 25th, okay. And then uh, do you want to do uh, your 99 in full <laughs> or over three months? I would spread it out. Over three? Yeah, okay. And then what we do is we do everything like GE Auto Safe Pay. Um, what we do is we don't do like online bill pay or anything like that. We don't do uh, invoices to house because we don't want people to. It's not uh, it's not for your cable service. It's for the protection of the home. So what we do is we do everything auto safe pay be directly between the company and yourself. Um, you have three options. You can either do checking, debit, or credit. What would your preference be? Um, probably put it on a credit card credit card okay so just like um, just like uh, you know all the neighbors and, er and everyone that we already did um, this, is, this is something I, I would show if I already did them um, so what it is like is like everyone has like their own preference remember I was saying uh, Dorothy from data that we already did um, we just did it out of our checking account where we just uh, collected voided check obviously I'm not going to show you all her information because it's you know I wouldn't show yours to anybody but um, and then this is Susan Fitzgerald. Uh, she did hers uh, out of the checking account. Um, do you want to do credit or checking? Or do you want to do credit still? I guess check, checking would be okay. good. So, so I, have to, I have to write you a check? Or? No, you just grab a check and then write void on it. Got gotcha, you. Okay. Do you mind grabbing that real quick and I'll go yeah. over the rest of it with you? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's a check. Okay. And now um, I have to do a recorded phone call. Um, you know, it's pretty much like a survey. You know, they want to make sure that you know that we're doing an alarm system and that we're not putting new shingles on the roof. Um, the first question that they're going to ask you is they're going to make sure that you understand that uh, Platinum isn't owned directly by GE, but we are affiliated with General Electric. That's just for legal purposes. Um, your rate of $49.99 is going to be good for 60 months, and during that time it's not going to change. They're going to say it's $49.99 plus whatever applicable fees. You don't have any applicable fees in this area. It's just $49.99 flat. Okay. You did your $99 over three months. It's going to be out of the checking account. First initial investment, five business days after the install. Regular one's going to start next month on the 25th. They're going to ask you if you own a home. Don't be offended. Uh, we can only do this for homeowners. They're going to ask you if I was wearing my shirt and my badge. Say no, Nathan was very unprofessional. They're going to ask you if I made you any promises. Say Nathan said he was going to bring us uh, to Europe for the weekend. Actually, Germany to go hang out with my cousin Jakob. Okay. And then terrorize uh, my uncle Herman and my tante Hilda. So uh, they actually have this uh, pond in their backyard that they built to go this swimming. This in Germany? Yeah, it's a nat cool. natural pond that they built. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, you're actually in their family? Yeah. So, um, and then. They're going to, remember how I said these are all of our advertising accounts? The company that we use is VMS. They're out of Warwick, Rhode Island. That's why we do all the installs in bulk. Um, they hold the license for Massachusetts. 
they're going to be doing your install. It's just we want everything to be licensed and everything. You know, Massachusetts is, is very strict, so it's going to be one of our lead techs from VMS is going to be doing it. Yeah, and they want to make sure that you know that I don't work for VMS, so just give me one second. <laughs> After I get off the phone with them, they're going to let me know when it's going to be. Just give me a second. Hey Preston, this is Nathan McCarthy. I'm just doing a survey right now for a training. Do you mind just doing like a fake survey if that makes sense? going to be uh, a Simon XT. Digital or two-way? Uh, digital. Is that cell primary? It's cell primary. And is it on Platinum Interactive? Yep. What's the email address? It's C-O-R-E-Y-L-A-W-23 at gmail.com. And is the agreement for 60 months? Yep. And is the monthly fee forty nine ninety nine. Yep. Um, we're going to pay half of their activation. Uh, he wants to do his 99 over three months. Okay, and how many points? Um, 11. Any upgrades? Uh, nope. His total is zero for his equipment. Uh, EFT or credit card? EFT, so voided check was collected, and he wants it on the 25th. Okay, go ahead and put customer on. Okay, here he is. Let me ask you a few questions. Hello? Hello? You guys keep going to speak a phone to protection. My name is Preston. Can I have your name, please? Yeah, it's Corey Law. Thank you. I'll just be asking a few questions to verify the information on your account. And so your website has called me to record for quality and trading purposes. I've got the name on the account spelled C O R E Y last name. I was told the forty nine ninety nine is with taxes. Um, it's actually um, see if we have that information if you'd like. Yes, please. Okay, I'm showing it looks like there are not any taxes in the area, so it should just be forty nine ninety nine, but if that were Trevor Change, you'd be responsible for those. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then just make sure you don't vote for the next guy. What was that? Sorry, I have the activation fee of $99 being split up over the first three months. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And are these payment terms clearly outlined on the front of your agreement? For the 999, 99 over three, five yeah. years. Yeah, yep. Okay, has Nathan made any promises or commitments to you that are not printed or written on your agreement? No, he hasn't. Is there an existing security system in your home? No. Yes, he is. Alright, thank you very much for your time. So please go ahead and put Nathan back on. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Good. Okay. Alright, thank Anything you. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, bud. Bye. Alright, so um, I just gotta find out who the tech is gonna be. Uh, give me one second. 
Now, you remember how I said, like, you know, part of part of us, as long as you're flexible with us, you know, we do them all back to back in the neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see real quick. So um, typically they offer a warranty. It's like another dollar a month. I don't think it's worth it because we don't have any problems with our systems. Okay. Um, I just need you to initial that one right there. And then I need you to autograph and then date this one right here. Um, and then are you familiar with the Privacy Act in Massachusetts at all? Okay. Remember how you just gave me your date of birth? Right. A lot of that information is act. Um, anyone can get it nowadays. So what we do to protect our company and to protect yourself um, is we need, need your full social, okay? No one's gonna get your information that goes with me. I keep my, I bring my binder in with me at night too, so it doesn't even stay in my car, okay? Then I pass it in the corporate. So I just need to initial that one right there, autograph the date, and then put that information right there. And you get a copy of that too. Final thing is going to be your safe word. Um, this is going to be your insurance card, obviously. You want to pass this into your homeowner's insurance. Um, you need to come up with a five to ten letter word that's kind of like, um, you know, when they call you, they need to know that it's you. What do you want that to be? It has to be like, you know, somewhat creative. So. I don't know. I'll probably just wait for my fiance to do that. Okay, for the safe word? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Um, we can come up with everything temporarily, I and mean, you guys can come that up with something a little bit more firm after, yeah. Okay. Um. Want to do the name of your dog? Mm, let's just do number 12043. Okay. We'd rather have a word. A word? Mm-hmm. Uh, Maybe the, a text the, on your The Smeagol word? Smeagol's fine, yeah. Okay. okay. Smeagol power. I just actually got a message back. Um, it's going to be one of our lead techs who's doing it. His name is Techie. Um, he's actually, you know what uh, Tongan is? The Samoan? Yeah, he's actually from Utah. He's going to be doing your install. Um, he's one of the top technicians literally in the whole company. Um, he just finished up one probably about, uh, he's going to be finishing up with, with uh, one like in the next uh, few minutes. And after he's done with that, he's going to finish your order. So it's going to be all done today. Oh, it's coming today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how we pay for the free ones. Yeah. Okay. So is I mean, is that how long does, does it take a while? Or? Um, I can have them rush yours. We'll install the keypad sideways. The door contacts will be put on the ceiling, and the glass break sensor will go in the bathroom. Um, but um, realistically, probably about uh, 35, 40 minutes total. Okay. And then if okay. you have to, like, really get going, like, people are dying bullets are flying, you need to get to the hospital, they don't have enough medics, so they're going to hire you for a few hours, um, just at least, at least let him finish installing the keypad, and then if we need to, we can come back and finish the rest, okay. 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 so, um, and that's how you do a sandbag, so that's, hey, all right, thank you, all right, guys, thank you.